Hello and welcome back to Collectible Stonks. If you are new to the channel and like seeing the financial side of collectibles, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as I try to bring you guys one or two videos a week regarding the market surrounding different products such as Flesh and Blood, Pokemon, Digimon, and MetaZoo. So in one of my previous videos, I spoke about the, uh, the Patreon kit that Rudy from Alpha Investments was offering and what came in each one of these kits. At the time of that video I was made, uh, Monarch 1st Edition boxes were selling for around $500 sealed in the pre-release market. This Patreon kit was shipped out on release day, so whoever purchased the kit managed to get it the following week. I did mention in that video how I believed that the promos and the playmats would essentially be worth roughly $500 together, and I was actually pretty spot on which, with one minor caveat. So just to recap, this kit was only available to patrons of Alpha Investments, and you could only purchase it if you were part of his $10 or higher tier. Unfortunately, you can no longer become a tiered Patreon, but you can still donate to Rudy, which if you enjoy his content, I would definitely recommend supporting him. Uh, this kit included two Monarch First Edition boxes, one of two playmats, and one of two Cold Foil Extended Art promos. As you can probably imagine, there seems to be a favorite playmat and, of course, a favorite promo, both of which I will get into. So, for the most part, uh, for the fa for the favorite playmat, it seems to be, by and large, the Illuminate playmat. I have seen this playmat selling for about $300 to $325, and as you can probably guess by the name of the playmat, this is based off of the light action card Illuminate. The art on this is just absolutely gorgeous and highly detailed, and I also assume that due to how well-received and popular Prism has been, that this is the reason why this playmat carries a higher premium than the Rift, the Rift uh, playmat. So the Rift playmat is currently selling for anywhere between $180 to $200, and same as Illuminate, it is based on a card called Rift Bind, which is a Shadow Runeblade action. Uh, however, maybe it's the darker art style that makes this one less desirable. Personally, I enjoy the art on the card and playmat, but since it's not associated with the Waifu Prism, it's worth roughly 30% less, which is pretty significant. Regardless, I can totally understand why Illuminate is the more popular of the two, which is the same with the two promo cards that I am about to talk about. To start this off, uh, or to start this portion of the video off, let's talk about what the promo cards were. Uh, you could get one of these, one of two cards, one being Urser and the other being Blasmafet. Uh, based on eBay data, we can easily see which one of the two is the, is the most popular, and that is Urser. And I honestly believe that it comes down to, to two things. One being that it's absolutely gorgeous artwork. I mean, the whole fallen angel slash demon vibes he has going on is really cool. And the other has to do with how effective this card can be when going up against a light hero such as Bolton. You see, part of Urser's attack is having go again. So if a, a, a sorry, it's having go again if a hero has one or more cards in their soul. So not only can you do six damage with Urser, but you can also pair that up with other cards for massive massive damage in one turn. Uh, those two reasons alone are probably why he is currently demanding anywhere between $450 to $500 or more. Now, Blasphemet is still a pretty valuable card, roughly around $300, give or take, and he also has a pretty neat skill of being able to banish cards from the opposing hero's souls, which, depending on your playstyle, you may prefer using him over Urser, but I still think Urser will continue to be the more popular of the two, and possibly part of the meta even more so than Blasphemet. However, I could be totally wrong about that, so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. So, essentially, to end this short video off, I just wanted to give a recap regarding the current financial value of this kit. My original prediction was that in total, it would be worth around $1,500, and as of right now, it seems to be roughly that much. Two boxes of Monarch are about $400 each sealed. Uh, depending on the playmat and card you received, you can expect anywhere between $1,300 to about $1,600 for the entire kit, which is actually very close to the prediction I gave a couple of weeks back. Now, these cards will only continue to go up in price over time as they only they have only made $2,500 of each card with Legend Story Studios keep, uh, keeping $1,000 of each of these promos for their own purposes. Regardless, they will age quite nicely and, you know, as will the playmats. So... That's it, you know, just a real quick recap as to what's going on with that market. Uh, honestly, keep holding. I honestly believe that these cards will likely not get a reprint. It just really depends on the demand, but I honestly believe that when it comes to promos, I, I just do not see Legend Story Studios going back to reprint all these promos. So... This has been Collectible Stonks. Thanks for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting that like button. And if you would like to watch more content like this, consider subscribing. Thanks for the support, y'all.